Hello everyone, I'm Sarah and I'm planning to do something stupid. For those of you who've been following this channel for a while, uh, you know that I'm not new to doing stupid stuff. Whether that is writing 10,000 words a day for seven days in a row, writing 50,000 words in three days, or attempting to write 50,000 words in 24 hours, I like doing stupid stuff that I regret once I've done, but it is a fun challenge for me to try. Guess who's found another one? This is what I'm going to call a longer term stupid challenge because most of the other stupid things I do, really the most I've done is a week long, seven days, that's it. Uh, this one I'm planning to be a little bit longer, like a lot longer. And sitting here about to talk about it, uh, uh, I, I am regretting it slightly um, that I have decided to do this. I wish I could undecide to do this, but once my brain clings to an idea, it will not let it go until that idea has been completed and won or failed. So clearly we're doing this. Starting on the 1st of April, I am going to be doing the 1991 challenge. What is the 1991 challenge, you might be asking? I never heard of it until I started looking at productivity and motivation methods to help people with ADHD. It is the brainchild of a guy called Robin Sharma. And basically it's where you work for 90 minutes a day for 90 days in a row on one project or one goal. The whole point of this 1991 challenge is to work on focus, productivity and determination. And I suppose it's more, more supposed to be for project management and stuff like that if you've got important things going on work that you need to complete. But I'm applying it to my important work that I am not doing on a regular enough basis, which needs to change. You're also supposed to do the 90 minutes before you do anything else of the day, so it's over and done with. But I don't have the luxury of time to be able to do that. So it is just going to be 90 random minutes in the day focused on this project. Also supposed to be, I do believe, 90 continuous minutes, but with the extra stupid thing that I'm planning to do, I might not do that every single time and I'm getting ahead of myself. So on the 1st of April, I will be starting the 1991 challenge. I am going to be working on Bird Whistle House, which is my dark academia fantasy novel that I have been planning and brainstorming since January of 2023. <sighs> on and off. And I really want to start writing it. But also I'm scared to start writing it because it is a genre that I've never um, tried before because I'm trying to outline it like not perfectly, but the whole mystery and everything behind it, I'm trying to outline perfectly so everything fits together so I don't have more work when it comes to second drafts and stuff like that, which is taking a long time because my brain doesn't like to focus on stuff for that long. This is, this is why I'm doing it, to, to, focus, on my, to focus my brain for, for that long. Hopefully after this is done, I would have worked on Bird Whistle House for 135 hours. So I'm very curious to see where I am at the beginning of this challenge and where I am at the end of this challenge. How much work can I get done in 135 hours? 90 minutes a day for 90 days in a row. Hmm. We shall see. One of the issues I know I'm going to have with this, obviously apart from having the motivation to do the 90 minutes a day in the first place, is maintaining my uh, dopamine for this particular novel because I suck at working on a single novel for more than two weeks at a time on and off during those two weeks. I can sometimes do it during NaNoWriMo because that's a challenge and it gets me excited. This is a challenge so hopefully I can maintain my excitement for it and keep wanting to do the 90 minutes a day. So I'm being very careful about how I go about working on this project. So I'm sort of, I don't quite know how I'm going to do it yet. I don't know whether I'm going to have three different levels. I'm feeling super, super great about it. So I'll do some writing or I'm feeling sort of like, I've just come home from work. I'm a little bit tired. Let me do some brainstorming or some more outlining or let me, I'm feeling not very good at all. So let me just work on something else 
in regards to that novel, but everything that I work on is going towards the completion of the novel. I'm not saying I'm gonna write the entire book in 90 days. It's not like I wouldn't be able to. I have done stupider things before. But basically, I wanna see if working on this project with this mindset of the 90 minutes a day focus determination is going to sort of get me more okay with working on a project long term without losing the excitement. Whether it's going to help me with sitting down and doing some writing after I've had a long day of work, before I need to go to work, when I've got the kids running around and screaming and stuff like that, it, it's not just me trying to go, oh, we'll work for 90 days. No, 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 I'm trying to take something away from this. I'm trying to see if it's possible. I'm trying to see if it helps my brain do the things I want my brain to do. I am also, to add to the stupidity, but also for the accountability to sort of make sure that I actually do do these 90 minutes a day, I'm going to be live streaming the entire thing. So, I'm regretting that as well, to be fair. I'm going to be live streaming every single day over the 90 days, those 90 minutes that I am working. for the accountability and the body doubling, which should hopefully boost a little bit more my motivation of actually getting the stuff done. So you guys will be able to see in real time how I work on my projects, how I brainstorm, how I outline, how I write, which I think would also be quite interesting to go back and see because I sort of have in my head how I work. I've never sat down and seen how I work. You know what I mean? And you know, maybe that will also help me uh, figure out some things about how I work and what I do, whether there is anything I need to change about how I work. This is where the whole, you're supposed to work on it, I think for 90 minutes consecutively comes into play. Because if I'm live streaming, am I just gonna wanna do one continuous 90 minute sprint every single day like I could do? I'm sure other people might enjoy that challenge as much as me. Or do I want to sit down and chat and do three 30 minute sprints or however many 20 minute sprints it would be? I don't know, I don't do math. Do I want to sit and chat and talk about what I'm doing? Because talking about what I'm doing is also going to get my motivation up a little bit more, if you know what I mean. So while I'm going to be streaming every day, I think I might have to take into account my mood and my energy levels if I'm on a day off and I've got no one in the house, yeah, sure, I'll sit there, I'll chat, I'll do sprints, we'll do all of this, that and the other. If I've just finished a 10 hour shift at work, am I gonna wanna have to sit and chat? I don't know if I'm gonna have the mental capacity for that because my meds would have worn off. So we'd just do a, like a one 90 minute sprint with a little chat at the beginning and a little chat at the end, maybe. Or maybe I'll just go online and the 90 minute sprint will immediately start and then I'll just immediately cut off once it's done. Like, I don't know, but that's, that's my plan. <laughs> If I see more hyper than usual, it is because I am currently on my meds. Um, <laughs> I need to calm down. I'll put a link down below with more information on the 1991 challenge, if that sounds interesting to any of you. If it does sound interesting and you do want to join me in this stupid 90 day challenge, please Feel free, come along, come to the live streams, chat about the work that you're doing. Whether that is writing work, school work, work work. If it's school work or work work, I'm really sorry. <laughs> but it is gonna be a chance to stay focused for 90 minutes. It is gonna be a chance to work with other people and body double so you're not feeling quite on your own. And hopefully more often than not, it will be a good fun chatty time and not me just sitting there like, I don't know, I feel that's like how I write, except my pinkies stick up when I type. Like that, sort of, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. See, now that I've spoken about it, I don't actually regret it now that I've spoken about it. At the moment, like I'll regret it later and I'll probably regret it once we start and I'll be regretting it the entire time until we're done. And then I'll be like, that was so much fun. I should do it again. I'm not gonna do it again. I'll do something something else stupid. Maybe not as stupid. We, that remains to be seen. 
I really don't know how to end these videos sometimes. So 1st of April, I will be starting the 9091 challenge, which I will be live streaming live, obviously on YouTube. I hope to see some of you guys there. I'm regretting it slightly, but I am really looking forward to the challenge. I'm looking forward to finally, finally sitting down and properly working on Bird Whistle House and actually physically start starting to write it because this book has been a long time coming and and I don't know and something else thank you guys so much for watching I apologize for the hyperness and I will see you on the 1st of April bye